Let's talk about money. Kudi, ego. Oh, <laughs> how's it going, guys? It's Tyler here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about passive income. And as the title says, I'll be breaking down how you can earn five hundred dollars a day legitimately with what I'm about to show you and what has worked for me. This video is not being created with the intention to boast about anything. However, I only want to show you what's possible and how you can learn from my small successes and mistakes. If you're looking for a get rich quick scheme, please don't watch this video. This video is not for you. I recently put out a video on some apps that I used to save and invest to earn around $10,000 in a year last year and that video will be linked in the description below but this video is a much more detailed and much more skill based video and uh, that was based on the feedback of that video from that video people said i should talk more about finances and that's one of the reasons why i'm making this video i'm hoping to help you answer some questions as well as hopefully challenge you and before i move on i'd love it if you could hit that like button so you can help more people discover these methods and you'll be helping them get this video discovered as well made sense in my head somehow anyway without further ado welcome to what we'll be calling finance fridays the first stream of income i want to talk about is graphic design i've said this a lot of times on the channel i was primarily and i still practice as a graphic designer i mainly specialized in one kind of design which is user interface design i designed apps websites magazines books posters basically any design that involved a lot of text and something people would read about uh, i did and still sometimes do that today we're in a digital age with social media apps everywhere and companies are trying to stand out with creative communications in form of beautiful designs why not be the person that they need for that designers are one of the highly demanded people in the creative space to be a designer, to do this would require you to practice a set of skills which I always recommend starting with typography. That is learning how texts and fonts work for lack of a better explanation. And I'll leave a link to the course that helped me get way better. It's by a professor called Aina Saltz and it's really changed my life for real. I recommend you should try it out. I would have loved to show you some of my designs but many of them are under NDAs or non-disclosure agreements but if you want to see me break down some of my design works and some processes uh, that I used to earn up to about $14,000 in six months or $2,300 a month, I could get clearance and share with you guys in another Finance Friday video. So like this video and comment below if that's something that you would be interested in seeing. Anyway, in summary, for graphic design work, uh, during peak times, I could earn somewhere between $77 a day to $200 a day. And sometimes it can be way higher, but that is just a modest average. In fact, a friend of mine, Joshua Oluwa, Bemega or Joe Accord who works with Envision is one of the best designers for user interfaces that I know. He doesn't watch my videos though but he's a super dope designer and he actually earns tens of thousands of dollars because his skill level is way beyond expert at this point. That's what happens when you put the time in. Uh, I'll leave a link to his dribble page or portfolio in the description below so you can get to check that out for yourself. The next thing I got into was video production and photography. Some of the clients I had uh, when I was primarily a graphic designer also needed three things. One of the things they needed was photo editing with Photoshop, taking pictures for their website and making a video that would be graphically inclined and would further communicate their message or promote them so they can make sales. I thought this was a great opportunity and you know I took to learning. I took a lot of courses and kept practicing day and night. That's the thing, for skill-based things like graphic design, coding, video editing and production, the more you practice, the better you become. Truly, I tried my hands with video production I made videos for clients and friends for free and this helped me become much better. Uh, at the time, I was still employed so I offered to create video for the company even though I was mainly employed as a graphic designer and social media manager then. I created videos that would promote the brand as well which I got to learn a lot from. I'll also leave a link to a resource that is super useful on LinkedIn Learning in the description below as well. That's for video editing. Another thing many of the clients did ask me for after my design work, especially for websites, was coding. I don't know how to code, unfortunately, I wish I did, but thankfully I had friends that I could work with and you know, I'll be able to earn a commission from that as well when I refer them. All right, so give or take for video editing and dabbling into photography here and there, I'm able to make around $80 to $160 a 
a day or two thousand to five thousand dollars in a month but like everything else if you put your mind to it and commit yourself you can actually hit really high numbers so you shouldn't limit yourself you can learn a lot from youtube if you can't afford to pay for resources on linkedin learning i personally love linkedin learning because it's people with years of experience like professors that teach on there and they categorize it in order for you like from you know the beginner stage to the uh, intermediary to expert stage that's one of the places i learned music theory even and started dabbling into making some music however youtube is a super huge free platform with great resources which is where you know where we're having this conversation right now now this next section is for content creation which i'm sure you've all probably been waiting for or maybe not i'll talk about my foray into youtube with the next three sources of passive income i'm going to mention now my journey through life sort of moved past me being overly hands-on or you know exchanging my time for money into putting in the time and compounding it now i still have a lot to learn i still read at least one book every week so that's something i try to dedicate my time to in order to grow because once you feel like you know everything you begin to decline also if this video has been useful to you so far do hit that like button and consider hitting the subscribe button you know and the bell icon beside it so you'll be the first to know when i post a new video all right let's talk about affiliate revenue this is where you recommend a product or a service to people and when they click uh, your link to purchase you get a small commission from that this is actually the smallest portion for me because i didn't usually do a great job of posting the links of tech items that i review in the description of my video or you know sometimes the tech items really don't generate much revenue or they can't even be linked at all but the few ones i did actually did get purchased and in total i was able to make about 337 dollars and 66 cents when you spread this out uh, within the months you can get as low as 11 dollars a month uh, it's not something stable i also mentioned that i love to read and i also love audible the audiobook platform which i've been using for years so for instance if you use my audible link in the description to sign up you could get 30 days for free and you know you'd only start paying after your free trial expires and i will get a tiny commission and this can be useful for people who have podcasts and also want to support their shows as well if you can get people to sign up as well you both benefit and i think audible is one of the better audiobook platforms in my opinion because I personally have bought around 30 audiobooks on Audible myself. Yeah, and you know, you can also learn things. Another source of affiliate revenue for me is also Musicbed, which I'm quite grateful for, you know, being one of their first uh, African ambassadors here. I've partnered with them for years now. And Musicbed is a company that helps creatives get very great songs to use in their video productions and things like that. So let's say you're making a video and you needed a song that would go great with that video. You can just browse their catalog, you know, their selections, and they do feature well-renowned artists. If you, again, use my link in the description to subscribe, you get a couple of songs, you know, we also get paid while you get dope music for your next video, you're welcome. I also tried out Jumia Affiliates here in Nigeria, but in total, affiliate revenue would account for about $2 per day to $17 per day on great days, and about $11 per month to $500 per month. Uh, this is one of the most unpredictable ones because not everyone is buying through your link in the description, you know, but they could be supporting your channel or your platform big time if they just help you buy via that link. Now, my fourth source of passive income is YouTube, this channel where we're currently discussing on right now, you know, where you're watching. So as you may or may not know, I try my best to make the best videos I possibly can, creating interesting thought pieces about smartphones and apps or just gadgets that I like and I can get a hold of. Uh, I've been making YouTube videos on smartphones and the likes for over four years now. And I would say making videos on YouTube does require a certain amount of skill where you need to learn about concepts, you know, that you're trying to talk about and make a video of essentially something that you're so interested in that you can't get bored of talking about. For me, it's tech and some aspects of finance that I really like to talk about. I like to think about this platform as a portal for either entertainment or education, but it's much broader than that. Let me explain. Uh, a lot of people come on here to watch funny videos, interesting vlogs, music videos, and celebrity topics, and more things along that line. Those are entertaining. And on the other spectrum, uh, a video like this 
where you know we we're talking about how you can make some money or just a tutorial in general science videos my own tech review videos and the likes i categorize them as educational videos where you hope to gain some form of knowledge or be informed about a certain topic uh, of course this isn't a hard and fast rule this isn't a fixed thing uh, there are many categories but these are just broad points the way many people make money on youtube is by the views and advertisers let me break it down youtube as a platform has many creators and viewers which is why advertisers who want people to see their products or services pay youtube and you know creators share that money with youtube the creator gets 55 percent and youtube gets 45 percent so if a video gets 20,000 views for instance and the advertiser says for every 1,000 views they want to pay ten dollars because that's how much they value a thousand people watching their adverts this is what is called cpm or cost per meal where meal means one thousand so cost per thousand because of that if twenty thousand people view the video and the ads we divide the total views by a thousand so we get 20 so the advertiser pays 20 times 10 which is 200 dollars the creator keeps $110, YouTube keeps $90 out of the $200. In Nigeria, however, advertisers pay like $8 per thousand. So uh, it largely depends on your region where people are watching. If you've got viewers from countries like the US where, you know, advertisers spend a lot of money promoting, there's a lot of creators and the audience is huge, the CPM could be as high as $20 per thousand. So that same 20,000 views can make around $400, where the creator keeps 55%, that's $220, compared to $110, or if you're from Nigeria, maybe $11. And that's from the same 20,000 views. I'm from Nigeria and it's not always the nicest when it comes to revenue. However, for the month of February, as you can see on the screen right here, we made about $1,800 in a month, which roughly translates to $60 per day. Uh, this can go as high as $130 for me, depending on how good the video does. That's in a day, but it's very rare, especially, you know, because this is Nigeria. The last but not the least source of income is sponsored content. This is where a company or brand directly pays you to talk about their service or product, or, you know, where they believe you can share to as many people. This can happen when a brand thinks you've got an engaging audience in form of followers or subscribers and they want to get in front of those people. For me, I would not take anything that I can't even use myself. And also this can range anywhere between 1 million to 3 million in a month. And that's in Naira, not in dollars. I wish it could be in dollars, but hey, yeah. Anyway, at this time, that's around 2,000 to $6,000 approximately a month this is where i talk about products like dstv mtn and the likes and i'm very fortunate to work with them thanks to you guys constant support none of this would even be possible if you guys don't watch and i'm very 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 humbled by it one of the channel's longtime partner is union bank i've worked with them for over a year now and they have even more opportunities for people to make money they recently launched their m36 app which shows you investment options like treasury bills where you can invest for a period of time and get up to 2.4 percent in interest you also have the federal government bonds in nigeria which can make 12.75 percent for a much longer period of two years and some months there are also guaranteed investment funds to earn up to five percent back the commercial paper from guinness nigeria dangote nigeria and nigerian breweries which can net you up to 2.3 percent in returns for a shorter period than treasury bills and you can also do fixed deposits this was similar to the video i posted early this year about savings and investing and in fact one of the things i did that i didn't mention in that video was to get us dollars at the official rate in nigeria well what does this mean instead of me to pay 1.9 million naira to get four thousand dollars at the black market rate i paid 1.5 million naira to get the same four thousand dollars and saved a whopping four hundred thousand naira at the time i was only able to do it in union bank the other banks kind of disappointed me but there's a thing called personal travel allowance where if you are about to travel and you truthfully have proof uh, i paid for my ticket and everything you'll be able to get access to pta for businesses they have bta business travel allowance and you can get five thousand dollars at the official rate as far as you have good reason this was one of the hacks i didn't mention in that video earlier and it was a timely life saver it can also be done 
on the M36 app as well. You can even get loans and speak to a wealth manager. I'll leave links to download the app in the description below. In total, this brings the whole thing to around $430 at minimum to $700 at maximum a day. And I just stuck with the midpoint of $500 a day, even if that's not really the midpoint. I want to mention that some of these earnings are before taxes. I have a tax advisor and I'm taking a chunk of this to pay for taxes. If you're in Lagos where I'm from, you have the personal income tax which you pay to LIRS aka the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service. And for corporates, the FIRS, federal taxes on the corporate side, federal inland revenue service. FIRS. In the US, it's simply IRS or Inland Revenue Service. I'll leave a link to the LIRS platform and you know, once you pay your tax, you should get an email that looks like this. For the federal income taxes, Nigeria has made it somewhat easy for small and medium businesses. So if you earn less than 25 million Naira or $52,000 in a year, you will need to pay company income taxes. So you only pay your VAT, your value added tax and that's 7.5%. This is how the VAT form looks like. One of my favorite quotes or is it statements is the one where they ask the student to like, which is more risky, having a stable job or working for yourself and having to deal with multiple clients where the income varies. Many people will pick being an entrepreneur or working for yourself as more risky because you kind of don't know what to expect or what can happen next exactly. Business might not come. If you don't do anything, nothing's going to happen, which is very true the well can dry up. However, as an employee, you are guaranteed a salary at the end of the month. Now, the point I was trying to make is that if the employee gets fired for any reason and they don't have any other source of income, everything is gone. But as an entrepreneur with multiple clients, uh, multiple streams of income, if you lose one stream of income, you can afford to lose one or two because there are other options. All right, that's pretty much it for my video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you have any questions at all? Please let me know. Again, if you found this video useful in any way at all, let me know by hitting that like button. And not only are you helping the channel, you're also helping others get this video discovered so that they can also gain the same amount of knowledge and value that you have gained. Also consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the very next video.